Kitchen, welcome back again to Punky's Kitchen. Well, it's been a while since I made a video. The other day I had posted a stir fry that I had made because I am on Lent. That is a Catholic um, religious fasting, basically is what it is. So today I'd like to speak a little bit about it. There is two different ways of doing it. The Greek Orthodox starts next week. So if everybody who's Greek Orthodox, please enjoy the recipes. I hope you do. Um, I am doing it the old-fashioned way, where there is no meat whatsoever involved. So today I am making a shrimp and lobster stir-fry. Um, and tomorrow I will be making a shrimp and potato um, dish as well. And I am going to be posting that as well. I am going to be doing a live where we can ask questions and talk um, before I even start cooking. I would really like to try to do one like that so that everybody can be involved and anybody who has questions. Like I said, there is two types of Lent. One where you just eat fish on Friday and you do not eat any kind of meat, so that's one of them. Or you can do it like I'm doing, where it's strictly shellfish with no blood, no dairy, no eggs, no chicken, no nothing at all. So we are going to begin. In my frying pan, as you can tell, I'm going to melt some butter with a little bit of olive oil in it. I am not using real butter, I am using Simply Smart. It has no dairy in it, no nothing whatsoever. This is kind of an important task when you are doing this type of food. Especially when you don't want anything like that in the food if you can't have it because you're going to be messing up lunch. So you don't want to really do that at all. So, on this table over here I have all my seasonings and everything I'm going to be needing. I got shrimp, lobster, diced ginger, onions and garlic, mushrooms, a tablespoon of soy sauce, light soy sauce please, a tablespoon of marinara sauce, uh, not marinara, excuse me, marinade sauce. I like their seafood with sesame seed oil in it. It's actually really good. It adds a lot of flavor to the food. I have a teaspoon of chives, ginger powder with some salt and pepper, a little extra garlic and onion powder in it mix because that's going to go in there. I have bean sprouts, pea pods, bok choy, napoli. Um, so let's begin cooking. So I'm going to take our onion, number one, and I'm going to put it in the pot just like this. Oops, sorry everybody. There you go. As I'm cooking, as you can see it, okay, I am going to be making sure that everyone could actually enjoy the food as much as possible. For anybody who has seafood allergies, you can do this with straight vegetables. Um, you could do this with any type of meat. Really, really and truly. Um, I actually enjoy eating vegetables. I always have, always will. It's just what I do. So yeah, so it's um, a, a good thing that way. So while your onion are sauteing, okay, you are going to take some garlic and fresh ginger, chop up the garlic really fine, um, and the ginger in nice shaved pieces. This is a piece of ginger um, about that big, and two heads of garlic, two cloves of garlic, I should say, excuse me. And we're gonna throw that in there too. I want all that flavor in there as one. Now, if you have any comments about this, how I look, how I'm cooking, I would really, really appreciate that. I like fresh, I like honesty while I'm cooking. Um, it's just me personally, just so you know. Okay. So we are going to do that. Those are sauteing up nice. I'm actually going to take our mushroom and I'm gonna put that in there. There's about six big giant mushrooms in here. Um, you could use shiitake mushrooms. There's also a Chinese mushroom that looks like a little marshmallow puff. It's real, real cute. I promise I will find them and show you them next time. 